everybody, Peach here, and today we're going to do a follow-up to a video that I released about seven months ago where I provided you with a hack to reduce the swing of your home gym's cable pulley system. Well, today I'm going to offer you a few more options as well, and then we'll compare and contrast those options so that you can make an informed decision on which option works best for you. All right, let's get started. Option number one, we're going to tether the cable to itself. Now this is the same option I already covered in the previous incarnation of this video from seven months ago. So I'm just going to cover this one really quickly. All we need is a length of chain. This one happens to be 21 inches long and two carabiners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first carabiner and I'm going to clip it onto the cable. Then I'm going to take the second carabiner and I'm also going to clip it onto the cable, but on the other side of the pulley. Okay. And that's it. And what this does, it limits the cable's ability to swing out too far. If it still swings, just shorten the chain by moving the carabiner inward. You can see it kind of teeter-tottering on the cable. It's effective, the setup is fast, and you can store your cable pulley system with this already in place, making setup a breeze. Option number two, we're going to tether the load to an anchor point on the ground. So to do so, I'm going to take my loading pin and a soft loop tie down strap and put the strap on the pin, both loops. So I got this going on. Then I'm going to take a carabiner and I'm going to hook it to the strap. So it looks just like this. Okay, now we're gonna set this off to the side for a moment. Now I'm gonna take a band, okay, just a cheap tube band, and I'm gonna feed it through a 45 pound plate. Just like so. Now I'm gonna feed the tube band through itself so that it's just hitched onto the plate. Okay, now I'm going to take that tube band and I'm going to hook it up to that carabiner I just put on my loading pin. And voila, now we can throw a load on our loading pin, hook up our cable pulley system, and exercise. Here we go. Now, as you can see, there is still some swing, but not a significant amount. And this option also provides the benefit of dynamic resistance, meaning as I pull, I am engaging that band, which does offer some level of additional resistance. All right, next option, we are gonna hang heavy chains from the load. So to do so, we're gonna be using 36 inch long trailer safety chains with hooks, two of them, and two soft loop tie down straps. So all we do is take the soft loop tie down strap and hook the chain onto it and that's it. And we need two of them at least. So all we do is we throw this onto the loading pin and we take the other one and we go directly across from it and place it on there. And that's it. Super fast setup with this one and super effective. As long as the chains maintain contact with the ground, you won't have any swing. And the other thing about this one is, the more the merrier and the heavier the better. So I only have two chains on here that aren't extremely heavy, but it's effective. But if you want it more effective, use more chains, use heavier chains. You see how I'm maintaining contact with the ground? The other benefit is as you pull, you're also getting dynamic resistance because the chains, as they're being picked up off the ground, add to the weight of the load. And there's virtually no swing. Great option. All right, last option. We are gonna create a band barrier using two bands and our rack safety bars. So let me put this band right here. 
okay? And I'm gonna want this band on this side of the pin, and I'm gonna want the other band on the other side of the pin, okay? So now we'll put it on this safety bar. And now we just center the bands on the loading pin. Now we have a very, very effective method for controlling swing. In fact, it's not moving at all. And with this option, I'm also getting the benefit of dynamic resistance because as I pull, the band is getting stretched more and more, providing more and more resistance. The other thing you can do is you can control where the band barrier is by controlling the height of your safety bars. If I want it a little higher, I raise the safety bars. If I want it lower, I lower the safety bars. Okay, so now it's time to rank those options. So, what's your favorite option? What's your least favorite option? I wanna hear from you. So, down in the comments below, let me know. Is it option one, option two, option three, or option four? And if you're interested in my rankings, go to DIYFitnessClub.com to have my rankings revealed to you. Okay, so that does it for today's video. For more helpful hints, hacks, tips, and DIY projects, be sure to subscribe to the channel to be alerted the moment the next video drops.